Welcome to North Metro TV News. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rusty Ray. First up today, there are 250 jobs open in the Anoka Hennepin School District right now. That represents about 5% of the district's workforce. As Danica Peterson reports, these shortages are an ongoing struggle for the state's largest school district. The majority of the open jobs in the Anoka Hennepin School District fall into two categories, teachers and paraeducators. Those two things, if we fill those, we would still have a back full of custodial positions and child nutrition positions, certainly bus drivers. Um, it's across the system. But finding applicants for these positions has become a serious challenge. There would be a time where we'd post an elementary job and that elementary job might get 50 applicants as a long-term sub. Let's say a teacher is going to go out and leave for the rest of the year because they're having a child. This year we'll post a job like that and we might not get any applicants because all of those typical applicants are hired. They're not long-term subbing waiting to get hired. The district is seeing reduced interest from retired teachers to come back and substitute teach in classrooms this year. Superintendent Law thinks that's due to two reasons. The first is the pandemic. We haven't had a week where we haven't had 100 students across the system, system test positive, so it, COVID is present in students in our system. And the second reason is changing technology. And our retired teachers just don't step in with that skill set. If they retired from teaching five years ago, they're not used to teaching with Chromebooks and Google Classroom and those things, and it, it, it's a learning curve. With jobs unfilled and without an adequate pool of substitutes, classroom teachers are bearing the burden. What we're getting is overstretching our current employees and not providing teacher, or students with someone who's dedicated to their lessons for the day. People are running from another classroom to fill in. And that, you know, we're, we are like every other district in the metro and across the country with that challenge. To give teachers a little time back, the district has added two days to winter break, one specifically for teacher prep time. And Superintendent Law says that additional calendar changes could be on the way. I think our goal is to be creative. You know, we're, we're looking at next year's calendar already. We might make minimal changes, maybe a day a month, not every month for the rest of this year. But we're looking at next year, how do we build in planning time so it's not disruptive to families and students, knowing that this might be a new norm. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson reporting. The district has a hiring fair planned for December 15th. Same-day interviews will be available for jobs in food service, as custodians, as paraprofessionals in the classroom, and with the district's before and after school program called Adventures Plus. The job fair will be at the district's Educational Service Center in Anoka from 2 until 6 p.m.